Next how are you feeling right now after that win? Feels great, man. I'm winning this one. Winning this one. It was like you guys were near all but teeing off on that Notre Dame yeah. offense. Mm -hmm. Game plan to execution. What stood out to you guys? What allowed you to produce so strongly on defense this week? Really just the same mindset we have every week. We just go out there and dominate our opponent. Um, and everybody do their job. And no matter what adversity we um, face, which we face every week, <clears throat> just go out there and control what we can control and do our jobs. And that's the same mindset we had this week. You guys have been producing week in and week out and playing really good defense. Dabo has said time and time again, you guys are a defense good enough to win a national championship. To come out with a win, how much did the team need this for the, the psyche of this team? I think it's really good. Um, Coach challenged the whole team on Monday um, through everyone. It's, it's, all the way down to the people who cut the grass. He challenged everybody in the building. So and that's what this team needed. That's what everybody, um, just to really get confidence um, with this team, to, to see the ceiling that we have. Because obviously we know we have a great team. And just to finish this season strong and go undefeated in November. He What's took like a lot to of fire this week. What's it like to see your coach go and take fire and take heat for you guys? Is that an extra sense of motivation, even beyond how he motivated you guys directly? Well, yeah, for sure. I mean, when you see um, your, your your leader um, take that type of initiative and just bring that aggressive nature to him, it, it, it's definitely motivation, for sure. What was the fourth quarter mindset? It's a one possession game. and. You kept having to make a play, mm -hmm. make a play. You got an interception, fourth. I mean, it just, it just seemed like you just kept coming back to the yeah. defense, needing to make it to finish the game. It's really just the same mindset. If they don't score, they don't win. So we don't let them score, and we know we can win the game. So that's just, that was just our mindset. No matter what the offense, whether they scored or not, we just knew that if we didn't let them score, they weren't going to win. What's it like when people on the outside start to doubt you? It seems like sometimes that changes your mindset a little bit. That you know you're good enough, regardless of what the outside world starts to believe. Yeah, I mean, that's just that's a part of it. That's, a, that's what any sport, um, the outside people, that's why you have to um, be, live inside out. You can't live outside in. Coach Swinney, um says that all the time. You can't let, let, can't let any negative energy get into <clears throat> the locker room or just into your mindset, period. You just got to focus on what we have in the building and just go out there and play for each other. How, you, how does it feel to, to beat Notre Dame at home? I mean, that, that's a marquee win for this team. It feels great, man. It feels great. Obviously, we lost a couple times up there. Um, up there at their place, so it feels good to get some revenge on them. You guys just beat, just beat the number 12 team in the country. Is it frustrating at all knowing that the ups and downs you guys have had, knowing that you, you can go out there and beat anyone in, in one of these ranked teams? Yeah, I mean, of course it's frustrating because we know we're one of the best teams in the country. We knew that since week one. And <clears throat> obviously it didn't go that way in the first half of the season and things like that. So you just have to control what we can control and just, like I said, go undefeated in November. Hey, Matt, Steve, last time you were in the University of Florida State, the morale was a lot different. Just coming around, being the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, um, you guys were in a big, tough stretch. How does it feel tonight, I mean, today? Um, it feels great. Like I said, fun is in the winning. And, and it feels good to just go out there and uh, see our team play a complete game and just really put it all together. And it just, it's a very good feeling. What was the motto going into practice this week after NC State? Was there anything Coach Swinney was preaching about or just letting the team know or just the guys on the team just telling each other, just keep each other up, just such a big game on the line and you guys got it done? Yeah, it's really just if you're all in or all out. It's just as simple as that. That's what it came down to. Guys who um, want to keep fighting and want to finish the season because obviously there's a lot of negativity going on um, out there in the world and things like that. So, and the guys who were in the building, he just challenged them to be inside out. And if you wanted to be here and you wanted to fight and you wanted to compete, then come bring it every day. You mentioned some of the negativity. Um, just when you're dealt with a situation like that, how do you overcome that adversity? In regards to like the outside? Um, NC Stair, just like hearing talk from the outside, you know, when you hear voices and murmurs. Mm -hmm. Just how do you guys overcome that? How did you guys overcome that? Yeah, so like I said earlier, um, just living inside out. That's what Coach Swinney preaches all the time. Just living inside out, not living outside in, and don't let any of that get into your head or any into locker room or anything like that. Avion Terrell, TJ Parker, a true freshman, helping yeah. out. So what's it like to see guys that young playing these big minutes and doing that? So yeah, it's amazing to see. Those guys are very talented. They have a bright future ahead. So the, the coming out and helping us the way they have this year is great to see. After what happened to you guys up there last year, how did that feel to go out and have that kind of defensive performance today? It felt great. And no shocker to us because we know what we're capable of. We know what we can
can do. And we know the type of players we have. We know the, we know how hard we work. We know the plan that we have, and we go out there and execute. And we, so it's no shocker to us. Like we didn't we didn't come into this game thinking we were an underdog at all. We just came in there, play our game. A little extra motivation. Think he has something to prove at the last year. For sure. For sure. Describe the mindset going into the week. Everything that y'all been through this season, mm -hmm. sitting at, sitting uh, right at 500. Now you're above 500 with three to go. What's the mindset going on after such an incredible upset win today? Yeah, um, just to finish the to finish the season strong, like I said, and just go undefeated in November. And like I said, um, we don't see ourselves as an underdog in in any matchup that we have. We know the players that we have. We know what we can do. So we just go out there and play our game and just finish strong. Not that you guys were lacking confidence, but a win like this, what does it do for a team, as you say, try and finish undefeated in the month of November? Um, it definitely boosts the morale, boosts the confidence, boosts everything. Um, obviously, the mindset was still to go out there and win and things like that, but it definitely is a morale booster for the team overall because obviously it doesn't feel good to lose and things like that. So definitely a win always helps. Today was definitely a, everyone just do their job, get the job done, and it's just A pluses and checks across the board. And you gotta you know, describe the crowd just from start to finish, how they just kind of had you guys back through everything that you've been through. Yeah, it's the best friends in the country, man. No, not all of the all of the ups and downs throughout this season and the things that we've gone through, um, they didn't have to show it for the show it for us the way that they did, and they, they do it every week and they do it every year. So we really appreciate them so much. Lex, I would say I got one more for you. Aiden was incredible in special teams today, and it just kept hitting them on the goal line for you guys defensively when you know you're going out, you know, and they're backed up on the goal line. How much juice does that give you? Um, it's, it's a huge boost. I mean, you got a punter who's um, he's been consistent all year. He's been putting us in a position to um, play winning football on defense, and you know, field position is very important in today's game. So. It, the, the way he's been playing this year, he has really helped us in every every aspect. Uh, you know, the team today was firing on all cylinders, but uh, what would you say is one of the most underrated aspects of this team? Underrated aspects? Um, oh, I don't know. What, is it? what would you think? Huh? What do you think? Uh, underrated? I mean, the special teams has been great. Yeah. Uh, the offense has really uh, put up some good numbers despite some of the criticism. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, we have a lot of, I guess the offense, I mean, a lot of people doubt them and things like that. Um, outside of critical mistakes, um, they make plays, they get yards every play, I mean, every game, and they do what they need to do. Um, outside of some, some turnovers here and there, I mean, they're, they're playmakers all over the field. So I would say um, underrated there. Max, what was Dabo's message to you guys in the locker room after the game? Um, really just um, telling us how he's been challenging us all week and just, he just, he's, um, nobody believed in us more than him, um, which we already know. Uh, he just wanted us to see us play a full game as a team and just see us um, hit on all cylinders. Does this change the complexion now for these final three games? Do you have a renewed sense of urgency, I guess? I mean, we we've kept the same same stuff regardless. I mean, no matter how, no matter if, if we would have lost today, we would have still been going, having the same mindset on Monday to finish it out um, three and one for November. So, uh, regardless of what happens, we just have to put our head forward and just keep working. What's that feeling when you see the ball finally went out of bounds and the clock hits zero? Oh, it was it was definitely a relief. I thought we were going to go back out there, so it was it was definitely a relief and just glad to um to get a win. Go ahead. Talk about this defensive line today. I mean, you guys were running all, on and off the field the entire game. But yeah. You never lost that intensity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we had a few different packages in um, because obviously we had a lot of 12 and 13 personnel on offense. So we was um, going, had different personnel packages that we wanted to try to mix it up and confuse them a little bit and throwing, uh, throwing some different things at them. So we executed that plan um, very well to be able to. What do you say about these younger guys? I mean, Damani Capehart's been around for a while, but hasn't gotten a lot of playing time. But those guys really stepped up today yeah. um, going against the big offensive line of running back. Yeah, so um, with Demonte, we know what he can do. We know he can just go in there and just disrupt any offensive line run game and things like that. So we just keep on um, giving him confidence and telling him just to go in there and do what he does, and that's what he did today. I think you said the mindset doesn't change. You wouldn't have changed if you lost today, but did it almost kind of give you guys a, a sense of relief and a springboard going forward just to 
to finally be able to win that yeah. game. Yeah, so I mean, of course, it's, it's I wouldn't say a relief, but I would say is that we, we expect to win each game that we play. So I wouldn't say it's a relief, but it definitely feels good to win. For sure. but I wouldn't say it's a relief because we expect to win. Thanks, Thank you.